Hey guys, welcome back to the tutorial and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Flutter on your Windows 11 computer. So let's go ahead and first check to see if we have Flutter installed. So what you want to do, just simply click on the Windows key and type CMD and you want to open up the command prompt and then just simply type Flutter, right? Click enter and you will see right there that I don't have Flutter installed. So Let's go ahead and install it. So simply open up any browser that you may have. In my case, I have Google Chrome here, and I'm gonna just simply type Flutter, right? Then here you wanna to go to the website that says flutter.dev. This is the official website, so you wanna go ahead and open that. And from the menu bar, you want to go ahead and select this Get Star button, so go ahead and click that. And you want to choose whichever operating system you have. So in my case, I have Windows, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Windows here. Then I'm gonna click desktop because I'm currently on a desktop and not a mobile or web. So I'm gonna click desktop. Then you wanna scroll all the way down to the installation section. So here you can see install the Flutter SDK. You wanna go ahead and click download and install because this is a use VS code to install. So you can choose this option or you can simply go ahead and click download and install and then you go ahead and download the Flutter Windows stable zip file. So go ahead and download this file. It will take some time to download, but guys, you want to make sure that you keep note of this warning here. It mentioned that you should not install Flutter to these parts. So the part contains special characters or spacing or you should not install it as well to your program files. So remember this. You must not install it to these parts, so you want to go ahead and make sure that you don't. But I'm going to show you how to easily set up that. Now, as you can see, my file is already done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that right here on the left hand side. Let me pull this over and then I'm going to go ahead and extract this file here. So I'm going to go ahead and extract it here. I'm going to allow it some time to do the extraction because it's quite a large file over two gigs. And there you have it guys, it is now fully extracted. Now guys, I wanna to mention to you that you need to be patient because for me, it took roughly nine minutes to fully extract this folder. So if yours is taking long when you're doing this process, you have to be patient, right? But for the purpose of the tutorial, I will speed this up, right? So once you have this extracted, you wanna go ahead and copy this. So go ahead and click Control C on your computer and then you want to go to your local disk. Now, if you remember, it mentioned that we shouldn't put this into C drive. So all we have to do is just simply go ahead and paste it right here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just do Control V or just click paste and allow this to paste the file right here. And as you can see, it's taking less time to paste the file when than when it to do the extracting of the file. Now, as you can see, it's taking way less time to paste the file than how it took to extract it, right? It's 99% and now you can see that it's finished. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and open up this folder here with inside your C drive. So go ahead and open that. And then you want to open bin. And then you want to simply go ahead and click in the address bar here, let's say, and do a control C to copy this part, right? Now, once you do that, go ahead and click the Windows icon here and type system and you will see system environment variables appear and you want to go ahead and open this. Now, if you don't see it, then just go ahead and type system environment variables and you should see it appear there. So once you see it appear, just go ahead and click open. Then you want to go on the advanced. By default, it should be on the advanced first, but if not, then you just want to click to advance and then you want to click on environment variables. Then you want to double click on path which is under user variables for, you will see your username. So it will say user variables for your username. In my case, it says user variable for Andrew. So go ahead and double click on path. Then you wanna go ahead and click new, and then you wanna paste that path right there and just click okay, then click okay again, right? Then you can also go ahead and close out of this system properties here. Then you wanna go ahead and click CMD again, open up your command prompt, and you wanna type flutter, click enter, and once you see all of these appear, guys, then you know that Flutter is fully installed. So as you can see, I have everything here under my command commands. Everything is there. And yeah, Flutter is now installed. And it says welcome to Flutter as well. So you know then and there that it is fully installed on my Windows 11 computer. And that's how easy it is to install Flutter on your Windows 
computer guys no guys i really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and if you do go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below i'd really appreciate that and if you're seeing the channel for the first time well, welcome to drew tutorial i'm anjo and i really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community and also so that you'll never miss out when i release another helpful tutorial just like this one thank you very much and see you next time